let's install some developer tools. First one, and personally, this is my favorite code editor. It's Sublime Text. You can download based on whatever operating system you have. In my case, it's a Mac, so it's OS X. So I'll simply click on here and just open this up. And it's going to install Sublime Text for me. Now, Sublime Text has this model where it is free. But every time you save, maybe like every 20th time that you save, it'll have a prompt that says, hey, you should purchase Sublime Text. So if you really, really like it, it's good to contribute and actually buy it. And most of the time, the workplace that you work at will actually cover the cost. But you can also use it for free. You'll just get that annoying prompt every once in a while when you save saying, hey, buy. But you can still have all the features that you want with the free version. In my Mac, I'm going to drag it into applications. And well, I already have Sublime Text actually installed. So I'm just going to say stop because, well, it's already installed. All right. So that's Sublime Text. And once we open it up, it'll look something like this. It's a code editor that allows me to write just like a Word document, but it has this ability to format my code and make my code look better when I'm actually coding. If I go down to the bottom here and click, you see that we have different languages that we can use. In my case, I want to use Python. So that now if I do print, look at that. I have some color completion. It gives me some hints. And let's say I make a mistake here. Well, there you go. I get some highlighting saying, hey, matching bracket could not be found. Make sure that you close this out. So immediately you can see the usefulness of this. It tells me as I'm coding along what errors I'm making. It makes the color pretty and generally is just a better experience to code. Now with Sublime Text, this Python is actually version two of Python. So if I remove the brackets, it doesn't give me an error because Python two, well, this is valid syntax. So in order to upgrade this to Python 3, we have to install a few packages. On a Mac, it's Command Shift P, and you'll get this drop down menu. On Windows, it'll be Control Shift P. But you can also just do it this way by hitting Tools and just hitting Command Palette. And here we're going to say Install Packages. And for installing packages, we're gonna say Python 3. And there's lots of packages that you can install to customize it. And there's tons of resources online of customizing your code editor. So everybody has their own preference. Now, if I click over here, I see that I now have Python 3. And if I click here, all right, everything is good. And now we can just save this file. We can call it hi.py on our desktop. And when we save this, uh, sometimes this will switch over to Python. Now, this shouldn't matter too much. We could also do tools, command palette, and just set syntax with Python 3. And another interesting thing we can do is if we go to the command palette, once again, I can say build with Python 3. When I click that, look at that. It's going to run this file for me. And it's going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an issue on line one. It says missing parentheses in call to print. Did you mean print hello? How nice is that? So we get to fix our errors. And now if we do command palette, or if you're on a Mac, you can do command shift P as you can see here, or control shift B, if you're on Windows, I can just say build with Python 3. And now look at that. Everything is running smoothly and it prints hello. Awesome. For now, we have a basic setup for Sublime Text. 
We can do a lot of things and you can Google of how you might want to customize Sublime Text. Maybe you want to change some colors. So you, you go to color schemes and maybe, I don't know, let's change it to Mariana. And look at that, it looks pretty good. So lots of options here. This is one of my favorite code editors, but I recommend finding your own, testing different things out and finding what you like. Usually though, the tool, like a code editor, doesn't make the programmer. You just wanna get comfortable with one of them, and from there, you'll just write good code. So don't spend too much time customizing and making it perfect because to me personally, that's just a waste of time. Your time is better spent learning to code, actually coding, instead of finding just the best color scheme to have on your code editor. 